Well, summer is finally with us. Look at this glorious weather. I'm going to have to put sun cream on in a minute. And that means it's time to start cutting the grass. So today I'm going to be doing a review, a long-term review, of my very own Honda Izzy petrol lawnmower. This is a long-term review of my very own Honda Izzy lawnmower, and this is the model GCV160. This has a 41 centimetre blade, which is 16 inches. If you want a push only model, they are 350 pounds in the UK, or if you want one like this, which is single speed self-propelled, these currently are 460 pounds. It's a 147 cc four stroke, so it takes ordinary straight petrol. It doesn't need two stroke fuel in here. So you don't have to be mixing oil in with your petrol, which is a nice bonus. They have auto choke, so starting is never an issue. The height adjustment front and back is very simple. It's just with a lever. That's the highest setting and it's got six positions and that's the lowest setting. So I'm going to set this for the moment up on the highest. The depth of cut ranges from 20 millimetres to 74 millimetres. So roughly three quarters of an inch to three inches. The tap on the side turns the fuel on or off to the carburettor. That's the off position. I usually leave it turned on. And then we have the air filter this side with the exhaust on the other side, along with the dipstick for checking engine oil. The grass box is a good size with a capacity of about 42 litres. Clipping it on is as simple as this. One of the reasons I like this particular box is this material seems to be very strong. They've got a steel frame around them, very hard plastic base to the bottom. And I think this is probably two layers of material with very, very fine holes through it. And I like this because all this is enclosed. When it's ejecting the grass, you're not going to get any of it left on the lawn. I think sometimes with a traditional lawn mower, some of the grass might miss the lawn box, particularly if it's a windy day. So when the machine is blowing all the grass and the rubbish into the bag, the air can escape. The grass is really rammed in tight. And you'll see in a minute when I get going, that it will actually fill the grass right up to this front edge, completely and utterly full. And sometimes you can't just shake the grass out, it's so tight, you've actually got to put your hand in and pull the grass out. <laughs> so that's fantastic. Now, if like me, you like to have a lawn with stripes on it, that's exactly what this strip of rubber or plastic will do. It's a very simple idea. As you go along, it literally just combs the grass and that will give you straight lines. Perfect. This is the dead man's handle, so you have to push that one forwards before you can actually start the motor itself. And then once the motor's running, you just push that one forwards and it engages drive and off you go. Then when you want to stop, you release that. That will stop the drive. And whilst this is still closed like it is at the moment, the motor will still run. So you can turn the machine around like this and then engage drive again and off you go. And one of the nice things about this is because it's got a long metal bar, you can use it left or right handed. Very simple. I guess there's a few reasons really why I bought this. Firstly, I know they're fantastically reliable. I used to have a Honda mains powered electric lawnmower, one that you just pushed along, about the same size as this overall, and with a similar size grass box. And it was a fantastic machine. I bought it second hand, I used it for about 15 years. I got more money for it when I sold it than I paid for it, which was pretty staggering. But it was first class and this machine is excellent too. They do cost a little bit more than many petrol mowers of this size, but it's a Honda. It's got a lovely solid metal casing to it. The plastics on here are high quality. The wheels, for instance, and because it's a four stroke, it starts really easily. I mean, this range is not called the Izzy for nothing because apparently they're called Izzy because they are, yes, wait for it, Izzy to start. I know it sounds a bit corny, but we'll soon see. I haven't started this one yet this season, so I'm going to give it a whirl. Let's see how we get on. You're going to start, aren't you? Yeah? Of course you are. <laughs> Hello, 
look at that. First class, first pull, and it's been in storage all the way over winter. I've no idea when I used it last, end of last year. First pull, and that's what makes these machines so great. They're not called Izzy's for nothing. I have got some very long grass waiting for me around the front of the house. It's much longer than this at the back. So I'm going to take dear old Izzy around the front and show you how long the grass is. I'm going to set this to cut nice and high and we'll give it a try. Well, that's two cuts. I did this one twice because I wanted to go over the edge, try and catch some of the pieces that were taller than the patio. Not bad for the first cut. Let's have a look and see how full we are. Oh yeah, I have to say that's pretty full, isn't it? I've seen it much fuller than that. As I said earlier, it will actually ran the grass right to the front, but I've got this on quite a high setting. So possibly by the time I finish the rest of the grass, I'll have an occasion to show you where this is completely full. But it's getting quite heavy, so I think now's the time to go and empty it. That's not bad, really. I think that's pretty good effort. Time to do some more. Let me talk to you about the mulching kit, part of which is underneath. So just be careful tipping this over. Make sure you tip it on the right-hand side like I've done. That means the air filter's uppermost, and by doing that, you're not likely to get any petrol in there. On the underside here, obviously that's the main cutting blade, but there's a separate second blade on here as well. And this is part of the mulching kit. That, along with this rather crazy looking plastic bung, forms the mulching kit and what this does with both blades on it will cut the grass much finer than with one blade and then this goes into the back of the machine it stops the grass from being ejected into the grass box you don't have the grass box on it when you're running it and the grass then just swirls around underneath where the cutting blades are and both blades will cut that grass that much finer and it'll leave a thin mulch on top of the grass and apparently although I'm no expert in this it's supposed to be quite good for the grass it helps to fertilize the grass but how true that is I don't know do your own research as they say so that's it that's the bung very simple the second blade stays on the machine the whole time getting close up to bushes and trees is no problem with this mower you can't really do that with a cylinder mower that has the box on the front this is what the bin looks like when it's full. You really can't get a blade more in here. Look at that, absolutely stuffed. And it's incredibly heavy too. I don't think you'd want a bin any bigger than this. And that's fantastic. That just shows you how powerful this machine is. It will completely ram this full of grass. Well, there we are. My long-term review of my own Honda Izzy petrol lawnmower. I have to say, I love it. I know they cost a little bit more than many others, but if you want one that's well made, it's going to start, that's important, and will probably last you well over 20 years, then you won't go wrong with a Honda. It's worth the extra money. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you're interested in my review of my Bosch lawn rake, I should be using that very soon on here. Then there'll be a link coming up on the screen and there'll be a link down below in the description. So please do watch that. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Well done, Izzy. You did really well.
I'm so proud of you. <laughs>